Libra. So last month I did a lot of stuff with like, um, here's your lucky days, here's your color energy and your crystal energy. I'm still planning to do that, but in this video I just wanted to kind of go back to the way we used to do our videos and give you kind of the nuts and bolts of what to expect this month. Um, so I haven't decided yet if that'll be another video, if that will be something that I just post on Facebook, or if that'll be something um, that I send out through uh, my email list. So if you're not connected to uh, receive those emails that have like coupon codes and stuff for personal readings in them uh, through my website, that's a good idea. Or if you haven't liked the Facebook page, it's another good idea if you're interested in that stuff. I am going to give you your lucky days though and unlucky days. So your unlucky day is the 5th and your luckiest day of February is... The first this month, it's actually going to be seven times luckier than the other days, they say. So, cool. All right, let's get started, Libra. So if you saw the video that I put out um, the other day that said, like, hey, attention to these specific signs, it looks like you're going to have a lot going on this month in regards to, like, things that are on your mind, and maybe you don't need to push yourself so hard. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you want to go back and watch that. Um as I do this video, okay? So what's going on in February for Libras? Oh, other thing, I also was thinking I wanna to try to get some um, love readings done for February because it's Valentine's Day month. So uh, that's another reason why I'm not including all of that stuff even though I've already um, kind of worked out the details of what those energies are for you all. So here we go. Knight of Wands, enthusiasm, passion, excitement. Okay, this is where you want to be this month. Um, and they're saying this might not be something typical for you. It might feel out of the ordinary. You know, with the mask on, you're like, whoa, who is this person? You know, kind of like bulldozing. But that's another reason why I was saying, you know, the energy is so much that, but you have the capacity to become overwhelmed. And um, a part of you does need to just chill a little bit based on that other video that I made. So what are they talking about as far as enthusiasm and that go get them attitude? And they're saying as far as like communication energies go with other people, getting things said and communicated um, that need to be, speaking the truth, um, discovering and asserting what is true for you in the month of February. And they're saying there are some things that you've held back um, that you haven't said to people, that you haven't brought up, uh, that you just didn't want to. And this is maybe your month to do that. And that's not very... Uh, different than the Aquarius energy actually um, which is interesting since you're both air signs so what they're saying is there are some things that you have not yet walked away from things that were important to you that you were like okay you know what like over it I gotta I gotta move on and you just haven't and um, you're not connected to these things in a toxic or unhealthy way but maybe there are some things or some people in your lives where you just got to go back and say you know what um, I still have some unresolved feelings about this, and I haven't been able to let it go. And so now I'm excited to talk to you about this. I'm excited to, you know, dialogue about it. Um, maybe there are reasons why you held back, but now February is kind of like the perfect storm for you to be able to do that. And they're saying... The thing is, is that it's taken a really long time to kind of get your head clear about what it is that you want to communicate, and um, before maybe the timing wasn't right, you know, like the timing wasn't right for you, and it also wasn't right for any other individual or party involved, whether you're, um, there, it, this is about a job, or, you know, a relationship with somebody in your family, or a romantic relationship, an ex, anything like that. What they're saying is that the timing has just always been off to bring it up. And so now is the time to do so, at least to start that conversation. They're saying this is a, the reason why these conversations need to be had in February is because it's going to help you guys heal. It'll help you heal from any past hurts um, to get over these things that you weren't formally able to get over. And they're saying you don't necessarily feel strong walking into this conversation. You don't necessarily feel like it's going to do um, what you intend for it to do. However, with the Six of Swords energy, it really will help you emotionally move on and be like more at peace with whatever went down. They're saying like whoever or whatever it was that um, this conversation is about, 
whether, like I said, it could be, you know, a job, it could be a colleague, it could be a romantic interest from the past, it could be a romantic interest from the current. Um, you didn't have the same wants, goals, desires, or dreams in mind for the future. Like, you both wanted different things, okay? And so they're like, now you can be excited about talking about these things, and um, there's no reason to be afraid of it at this current moment in time in February. So what else is going on for Libras in... I just have to say this, because... Um, it keeps coming through as like pushing away because like, this has to be for one specific person, but somebody watching this needs to know this, so I'm just going to blurt it. Um, for somebody, it's uh, actually trying to connect with like long lost loved ones. Well, not necessarily loved ones, but like DNA relationships. So maybe you don't know who your dad was or something like that, and it's like, but you have the information, you have a way to get in touch with them and be like, hey, wondering why you weren't a part of my life, or hey, you know, maybe you were a sperm donor and you weren't supposed to be a part of my life, but um, that's created some emotional-ish in my subconscious, and so I'm just reaching out to be like, hey, I don't know if I want a relationship with you, but I need to kind of like put this at ease for myself, or it could be a sibling or something like that, but there's something going on with um, the DNA, like real bloodline connections that there's like a lack of communication there and something needs to be said so you can just move past it. It's not going to be that dramatic, okay? Um, okay, so what else for Libra in February? And they're saying, yeah, so all of you, <laughs> all of you have something going on here where like you just couldn't move on from it, okay? And maybe you wanted to, but you couldn't, and it, the timing wasn't right, and you couldn't control that. And as hard as you've tried to release some of this energy, you haven't been able to. And they're saying this is the month where you can actually do this. Um, they're saying that because you have come to this place of, like, emotional calm, and you've processed a lot of things from the past, as well as, like, where you want to head in the future, um, you can be excited that this is the month to have this conversation. So I guess that's really the main topic that they want to focus on and they don't really want to tell you too much more. Maybe they're waiting for the love reading. Uh, but what they're saying here also with this uh, six of wands energy here is that you're... So your subconscious has this, like, awareness, okay? And there were things that you were afraid of in regards to bringing this up, and that is no longer a thing. They're saying, like, this month, you've got to think about which direction you want to head into. Where do you hope to go? What do you hope to um, have happen as a result of having these conversations, and therefore you should do it, and that you are more in tune this month to like the forward trajectory of like where you want to be, you know, like your goals three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 50 years from now, you're kind of like coming into this alignment in order to be able to achieve those things so long as you stay focused on them and they can happen quickly for you. So good to know. Um, this is like that missing piece, that just blockage there, that whole issue with whoever it was that you had like unresolved shit with that you needed to talk about talk it through. So there's that. Um, let's see. So rituals. So isn't it interesting that there's candles here? Um, if you have any rituals involving candles, whether that's, you know, cleansing your tarot cards or meditating or whatever, um, candles will be helpful. Like um, maybe this month I'm getting like an image of like somebody in the bath with their candles and their crystals. That might be good for you. A good way to kind of like remind yourself of that peace and calm. So anyway, uh, the point of rituals this month for you and why they're important is because they will help you to be calm and still and kind of go deep within to find the enthusiasm to deal with that stuff in the subconscious that's trying to come out. And so Affirmations for you is, I am calm and still. I will release the pain that holds me down. And this is how you're going to do it through communication, getting excited for that. Um, as one door closes, another will open. I am ready to move forward. So what a healing month for you guys. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you. Um, they're saying that... 
Some of you are just not making the decision to have these conversations because you're afraid it's the first domino in a series of dominoes, that it'll just lead to this or that or this or that or further conversations. And maybe that's just not where you want it to go. Maybe you just wanted to get this one thing off your chest. And they're saying that's okay. But what they're saying is that you can't really control that and that fear shouldn't be a motivating factor in whether you do something or you don't. So we have to really embrace that fire energy I was talking about with the Knight of Wands. They're saying as events take their own momentum, you get to take a true leap forward. You get to be the kangaroo and just go boing. And in your personal development and your growth, like you're going to clear away that fear blockage that you have that's inhibiting you from achieving all of those things that you want for your life, all of your hopes and your dreams very quickly because we did have an 808 um, number message as I was doing this reading for you. So let's see what else we have. And they're saying choosing to heal, you know, with that heart chakra. And look at all that water again, okay? So remember how I was talking about, like, taking a bath, you know, and, like, feeling calm and still with your crystals. This is rocks here. This is you before. This is you after. Waters represent emotions. And so to kind of just soak in those emotions in the bath might be helpful. And so they're saying, you know, making sure in February that you take time to reflect on your troubling emotions and transform them in a positive way, which you're going to do by communicating with other people. So identify that unresolved area of anger or hurt. See, this is what I'm talking about. This shit isn't coincidence. Um, and ask yourself why you're still not at peace. So who is it you need to talk to? Uh, focus how much power you lose to those negative feelings. Think about that. And that's what's blocking you. That's, you know, this is going to open up that heart chakra as well as that sacral chakra and really get you pushing forward. Your goal is to realize that you can choose to stay angry, which even if you're repressing that anger into the subconscious, which a lot of you are, um, that's what creates blockages, or you can choose to heal. And so get excited about your healing. You know, it might be easier than you think, especially if you have that enthusiasm. So, um, yeah, I definitely think it's going to be important for me to get you those color energies as well as your crystal of the month. So, um, look forward to sharing that information with you later, but I just wanted to get these videos out for February and, um, I love you a ton. Bye. getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!